today we're looking at the max ifs function in Microsoft Excel. So if you're just trying to find the highest sales number in a column, you could use a formula called max. However, this only finds the largest sale and does not allow you to restrict it by any conditions. So the highest sale is 1800, but what if we want to find the highest sale in the Western region? So what we need here is a max ifs formula. So let's go ahead and start our formula max ifs and then we have our arguments here so max range criteria range and criteria and then the dot 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 symbolizes that we can use multiple criteria ranges and criteria so our max range is the numeric column that we want to find the max value in so in this case it's going to be sales and then comma Next is our criteria range. And so if we want to find the highest sales number in the Western region, we want to use region as our criteria range. And then our criteria then would be West. And so if we're doing it to a text, we would put it inside double quotes. We can find 1600 is our highest sale in the Western region, which belongs to Carol White. Now, if we want to perhaps narrow this down by both department and region, we could modify this. And so if we open up our MaxF formula, let's go ahead and do department. And then this time, let's just do it compared to a cell. And then let's grab our region as well. And then do it in this one, so H5. And so currently has zero, but let's check electronics in the eastern region. Our highest sales 1800. So there we can see that one. Now, if we go to electronics in the western, see it's 1600, which is right here. But if we go to home goods, now you can see in the western region it's 1300. Belongs to Grace Hall. And if we cycle back to the eastern region, we can see that is 1100 which belongs to Aaron Davis. And so that's how you can easily determine the max number in a column based on multiple conditions. So a couple things to keep in mind is when you're selecting these ranges, that you're only selecting one column for those ranges, and also that you're selecting the same number of rows. So you can see all these start in the fourth row and end at the 13th row. If you change one of these, to 14, for example, you'll wind up with an error because it does not have the same number of rows. And typically it's highlighted, so in a small data set like this, you can easily see and validate that you have the same number of rows selected. But a large one, that is one to keep a note on. So that is it for the MaxIFS function today. Make sure to download the Coefficient add-on so that way you can sync your data from a variety of data sources into Microsoft Excel. So that way, when you use formulas like max ifs, you'll know that it's relying on the most recent data that you have available. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.